I call this that's more good. So he's, he's, he does a lot of our erosion control stuff. So I calls him and I said, I'm thinking about some ways to stoke up this oil. What do you think about this? So I said, you go get this and try it and see how it works and call me back. So he said, you ain't going to believe how this works. Uh, we think this is a good idea and we're pitching this idea, but we would like to be able to do the work. So that's kind of where we're at. With this. So just keep that in mind. But what we got, he, we, he, obviously we got clean water here. We're going to pour some oil in it. And then we're going to put some of this hay in it and let you see how it soaks the, soaks the oil. And we got a couple other things we want to look at too, same, along the same lines. This is just some burn oil that, that, that he's got. It's just burn oil and viscosity is out of it. So crude oil would have more viscosity and stick to something like this even more than burn oil. But there's two types of hay in the southeast United States. Uh, and one of them is coastal Bermuda. This main common one, this is it. Bermuda grass. And the other is the Bahia grass. If you just simulate wave, you know, this is, I'm only going to do this for just a few seconds, whereas it, it can stay in the water for hours and hours and hours, maybe days. The hay won't sink, uh, period. I mean, I've, long, I've been in erosion control 20, 25 years, and it, it'll just float, it'll float to the edge and stay on the edge, you know, so uh, we put out hay bales got, forever. We've got two scenarios with this. We think, first of all, you could actually disperse it on this field that's out there now. It'll soak up the oil there now. And you've got skimmers that come along and skim up the hay, or you could use the shrimp boats out there with their nets to pick it back up, or, or something along that line. Or if it washes up on shore, it's going to be just like seaweed, and then you take conventional beach cleaning equipment and you just pick it up. And we yes. have dumpsters on the beach with liners or whatever in them and put them in those dumpsters. And then as far as disposing it, I don't, my thoughts was take it to some incinerator and use it for energy. And, and burn it. Mix it with wood chips or whatever. And, and dispose of it like that. I don't know what the DDP implications would be of that or whatever, but as far as getting it out of the water, this is, I, I've rounded all kinds of stuff in the last few days. This right here is about as green and about as simple as it gets. Now, this is just in a few minutes. Now, pay no attention to what's around the edge. There ain't no bowl out there in the ocean. There ain't no edges. So, this stuff's going to float and mess around, flop around in the waves. Look at that little bit of hay right there. Look what's attached to it. With a quarter of a pound of dry hay. This is Bermuda grass. This is what commonly farmers will have everywhere. Hair grass and Bermuda grass. And that's, what, that's just what they'll have. Now, there's, uh, there's one other type. Hay straw. It's wheat straw, oat straw. It don't have any kind of seed, wild nothing. It can't come up. Uh, that's going to be here. It's being seasoned in about two or three more weeks. And that would be a, a massive ready to supply in about two or three weeks. But if you've got this, if you got this known all over the southeast, you could have a lot of hay coming to go on barges to go out to blow in the middle of that. Just blow it out there in the wind. It can't screw up because it's going to float around and float into the oil. And it'll, it'll attach itself to it. Clean it right on up. It looks bad around the edges, but, but there ain't no, there's no pan edges out there in the ocean, of course. And really, if you look inside there, there's a lot of hay look inside here that hadn't yet grabbed any oil. So we're the hay scattered the out will do more wave that you know it's going to yeah, you, you want you want it more waves right the more you blow it the more you scatter it each one of them can pull a lot of oil out i done it so fast you've got some pieces there's some that's like it should be right there i've got some that ain't hardly got any oil on it because i hadn't left it in there long enough. 
you had mentioned that forming a hard cement white, but when I look at this, it looks like it's, it's hay with oil on it, and I put my hand on it and got a bunch of oil on it. So is it, could you clarify what you meant by, a, it seems that, what am I trying to say is, it's not really, really, it's not really being absorbed in the hay. It's just on the hay. It's just yeah, it's attach the itself to it. Right, attach it's itself to it. it, and that's all you want to do is attach it to something so you can get it. If it makes it to the beach, worst case scenario, it's going to end there at high tide. It's going to be where it's going to be sitting, and it'll stabilize right there and be in the hay. So you take this beach seaweed equipment, it's pretty readily available. Now, it'll run along the there and just roll it, pick it up, and go right in. The oil's coming up. If it washes up there without being attached to something, you got it in the sand, you can't get it. Yeah. You got you got a mess yeah. to get it. Mm -hmm. So this so, would skim it more off the top of the sand as opposed to removing more of the sand. That's right. That's right. You just skim it and the sand jiggles down it just like getting the seaweed stuff with seaweeds on the beach. But but you don't start there. You preemptive you go deep out there where it's at with bars and stuff and blow this into it. And it'll be mixing and churning, and then you have you, got, you can put people with nets. Big round bale of hay that you put in a blower, and it actually chops it up and blows it out there in, in this form. So you still, you got a lot of hay here that's still clean because there's no more oil left. Right? And that's black brown. 